If the artist cannot find the way, then the way cannot be found. Quoted by Terence McKenna. Hello, my name is Rafael Salazar and in this video I want to speak my mind about a topic that is really meaningful to me and I think is important to the world in general and especially important to those people that feel inspired to express themselves through any sort of creative work. And this is the topic of using art as a medium of expressing your internal vision. So visionary art. And the reason I'm so moved to talk about this is it's because it's, it's something that has been inspiring me for a long time. And it's what inspires me to become better at painting, drawing, writing, poetry, because any sort of creative person I think is really doing it to externalize their internal vision. So first of all, a vision is any sort of idea that a person holds about what the world should be like, how people should treat each other, how people should treat themselves, how life should be lived and how life should be perceived or contemplated as compared to how it is today. And really, I think that every human being has a visionary capacity for the simple fact that everyone has their own ideas and beliefs of how they want the world to be, how they want people to be as compared to how it is now. And so the visionary artist is someone who takes this vision and expresses it through his artwork. And it's something that we can see throughout different works of art throughout history. Visions have been provided all throughout human history. And in fact, it's this capacity that we have as human beings, which has propelled us to um, get beyond ourselves and improve ourselves, improve our societies, reinvent our cultures and advance civilization in general. It's always been our own internal visions externalized. In fact, if you think about the world we are in, your house, the buildings you see outside, the books you've read, the music you've heard, the movies you've watched, all of these things have been first thought of as an idea in someone's mind. And then this person took on the action of externalizing and materializing this idea so that it can be shared with the rest of the world. This is the simple fact that defines us as human beings. And so the visionary, the role of the visionary is to provide an end goal, provide people or humanity with with a, with, with a state that we want to reach. And visions are usually following themes that can be seen throughout humanity, throughout the human experience, and which are really beautiful themes, which are self-transcendence, things like love, peace, communion, justice, uh, nobility, um, just to name a few. And what the visionary artist does is he takes these themes and applies them to the context of his historical present. So for us in this modern age, it would be to provide through our art a vision of what we think we can reach f from the state we are now in. So, and this can be helped this can be done to inspire change and to inspire action through one of the to many of the biggest problems in our world. Um, the first one and the biggest one I can think of is how in this modern age we have completely abandoned our concept of being one with the rest of the web of life 
and our civilization has completely altered the face of the planet and altered the way in which nature has worked through climate change, through ocean acidification, through the destruction of natural environments. And so as a visionary, what we could do is imagine what imagine a scene that would mean the solution to that problem. So we can imagine a scene in which humanity is existing in coexistence with the rest of nature, where we are no longer against nature, but working with nature. And what the visionary artist would do is express that scene in his art. And this is just one example of how vision can be used and it can be used to tackle many other problems or existential um, questions that we have, such as where do we come from? Why are we here? Problems such as gender inequality, war, poverty, resource scarcity, ethics, all of these things can be addressed through visionary art. And what I want to point out is that visions are not the same as strategies or plans or movements to change us because what a vision really does is just provide a scene of what we want to reach collectively. So the, the vision is not concerned of how we're going to get there, what means we're going to use, what it's going to take. It's none of that. We only have to imagine where we want to go collectively as a species. And for anyone that is inspired to express themselves through visionary art, I think it's necessary to take a step back from the world and just give yourself the space to look within yourself and really start to dig out what your own vision is. Every human being has a vision. And I want to just point out that if we don't take the responsibility of externalizing what we have inside and what message we want to give out, then it's gonna die with us because we are eventually gonna die. And this is also one of the biggest motivations for the creative act, our own mortality and the consciousness that we could be gone any day. So we are inspired to externalize what, what messages we have so that they can be shared with the world in the best and fastest way possible. And really, I just wanted to, uh, to inspire people, anyone who has a vision and is inspired to express it through their creative work to really do it because this world we live in is starving with vision. We all know that we have to change the world and it has to keep advancing. And more and more in this modern age, we are not satisfied anymore with the story we've always told ourselves. We are not satisfied with the world we have created and we want to create a new one. So as visionary artists, what we can do is start to paint the picture, start to set the stage of where we want to go collectively and then provide that picture to the rest of people. And so I hope this really helps and inspires anyone because as I said in the beginning of the video, quoted by Terence McKenna, if the artist cannot find a way, the way cannot be found. If humanity does not provide visions for itself, if we don't collectively take on the responsibility of sharing a common vision of where we want to go as a species, what we want to do with this planet, what type of future we want to create for future generations, then we are destined to 
descend back to chaos. And I don't think that's what's going to happen because humanity is full of purpose and we are creative creatures. And in fact, this modern age with all its dilemmas and problems is the perfect challenge for us as a species to really take on this test of us as creative creatures and prove to ourselves that anything is possible for the one who imagines, for the person who has a vision and the culture that shares and embodies that vision. So I hope these ideas are inspiring or at least they um, provide some sort of interesting thoughts for you and thank you.